This is a video on how to hatch, grow, and raise your brine shrimp for feeding your fresh or saltwater fish from all different sizes. Right here I have an apparatus for hatching the baby brine shrimp. As you can see I have a bubbler going uh, to the top of the 2 liter bottle which is upside down inside this little goldfish bowl. And the bubbler is connected to this air pump. And bubbles go up and uh, I also have this heat lamp. You want your water for the brine shrimp pretty hot, especially for hatching them. So I'll turn off the bubbler. And these have just hatched. It takes about 24 hours to hatch them. But another reason to have a light is so all the live ones will swim towards the light. They'll go up to the top. And then down here I have another five gallon bucket for growing brine shrimp. I have another heat lamp. I have plenty of salt in it. And yeah, yeah, you gotta have salt in it. It doesn't matter if you have just table salt or any sort of salt, but right now I have instant ocean salt. It's the uh, obviously the best stuff. I figured if I used actual aquarium salt, then my brine shrimp would be healthier. But now we've had the bubbler off for long enough. Now we can move the just hatched brine shrimp into the bucket. All you gotta do is get a cup, like a half cup, I'll move this out of the way, and just go from the top so that you can get all the live ones. And this is several thousand brine shrimp right here. You're gonna do a couple cupfuls of that. And what I use uh, for the eggs is just this brine shrimp eggs that you can order. This was three bucks. This holds several million eggs. And all you gotta do is open that up, take a capful out, and then put it in one capful is like a hundred thousand eggs. Ah. So most of these aren't hatched, but I'm gonna get the ones that are. You can also use a siphon, but if you use a siphon you're getting the ones from the bottom. So I'm going to turn this heat lamp off, move it to the side, get a couple cupfuls of this. You can, also, you can also hatch your brine shrimp in this. It's just that this is more concentrated and every single egg is guaranteed to get bubbles. There's more oxygen in that. So get a couple cupfuls of that. I'm going to bring it down about halfway. You can also get a net, like a cotton net, and uh, if you take scoops, you'll only get the eggs and no water so that you don't have to refill your water. So it's a lot more densely packed of eggs, but We have plenty of eggs in this right here. So that's good for now. Now we can fill this back up with water. I use RO water, just regular fresh water, and I got it right from the store. I'm gonna fill this up. I can also use like a cup, but. And then you can do this every day, actually. Fill that to the top. Alright, that's good. Now you want to get a couple pinches of salt from Instant Ocean. It says a half cup per every uh, 
uh, gallon, but this is about one liter, maybe a little bit more, and brine shrimp don't need as much salt. So I'm just going to get a few pinches. Alright, that's good. And then you can turn the bubbler back on. You don't need the bubbler at full power all the time. Um, I just had it at full power so that the eggs would hatch quicker than that. I would get lots of oxygen in the tank. But brine shrimp love big bubbles. You don't want the real small bubbles, but I'm going to take that down. I have a little valve. So yeah, I'll have another video on how to set this thing up. So after you're done with that step, I'm just going to get another cup full of the eggs and put a little of it in there. And then let's get a whole cup full and put it in here. Mix that around. And it's best if you have a heater in your larger bucket. But you can, what you can do is just get uh, cupfuls of this or like a net and feed them right to your fry because this is the smallest food that you can feed them, even smaller than micro worms. can see how small they are. So uh, now on how to feed and grow your brine shrimp that's now in the bucket. I have spirulina powder. I actually got spirulina flake and I've just ground it up so that it's in a powder form. And all you have to do is get a pinch of this and it's a lot better to underfeed them than it is to overfeed them because you don't want the whole thing to go bad. Remember that you don't have a filter. So grind that up. Put a little bit in there. You can also put yeast in here. I don't have any at the moment. So just a couple pinches like that. Stir it around. Got lots of eggs sitting at the top. And you will want to totally change out your uh, liter of water because there will be eggshells on the side that will like harden and you don't really want that, it's just a nuisance. Yeah, I'll one more pinch. This stuff will dissolve more in the water. Your brine shrimp can eat more of that. And you can't really see the brine shrimp now. But in about three days, they'll be full grown, and uh, in a week, some of them will get to about that long, about maybe a half an inch, an inch long, and you can feed those to your bigger fish. But all you need to do is get like a cotton net, scoop them up in like two days, and then feed them to your fish. And that is how you raise, hatch, and grow brine shrimp.